Here at Sun and Fun 2021, we're seeing a few electric airplanes. This is the Taurus Electro from Pipistrel. Not really a new airplane, but uh, this is an upgraded version, the first time it has been shown at Sun and Fun. Taurus is not new. We've been making this aircraft for over 10 years, but originally we made it with a gas engine, a, a good Rotax 502. We have since used, gone to an electrical engine. It's the exact same weight as it was for the gas, but now it's everything about the electrical engine is better. It's quieter, it's smoother, it's just better. We introduced the electrical version two years ago, and it's just been, it's been constantly improving. When we first introduced it, it was good for 8,000 feet. Now it's good for 9,000 feet. Let me explain what I'm talking about with 9,000 feet. Everybody's going to ask, how long are the batteries for? Don't think of it as time, think of it as altitude. Because you, use, you bring up the engine, you launch, and you've got 9,000 feet to take you up at, en at any level you want. And you just keep track of it. So you can launch, go to 3,000, play glider, retract the engine. Then when you're, as you come down, you hit your decision height, you can redeploy the engine, and you've still got, six, in my example, 6,000 feet of, of altitude left. Take yourself up, use as much as you want, and then bring yourself back down when you're ready. When it retracts, it's a 40 to one glider. Uh, the, the reason you want to think of it as feet is it's not a touring glider. When you bring the motor up, you're going to climb with it. You're not going to bring it up and tour with it. You're going to get altitude, then, uh, secure the engine and go back to gliding. Uh, the Taurus is unique. Well, the Taurus is one of the few that is a side-by-side -side glider with side-by-side -side landing gear, so it doesn't need a ground crew to put it together, uh, and it doesn't need a ground crew to help launch. It's self-launching. Likewise, we also sell an optional solar-powered trailer so that you can charge the glider in the trailer and the base concept there is that you'd go on the weekends you'd go flying on Saturday land park it in the trailer the trailer transfers its battery charge into the the Taurus you take it out go gliding again on Sunday then Monday or Sunday night you park it back in the trailer park it out behind your house and let the the solar batteries charge the glider and the trailer over the weekend or over the week and essentially then you're flying for free. There's a separate motor for bringing the uh, engine back. It's on a single titanium support. Uh, what it does that everyone's concerned about, there is a electric mechanism and we'll demonstrate that in a moment that locks the propeller so you don't have a propeller strike and then it'll just deploy. It takes about uh, eight seconds to retract and about 12 seconds to put it up. You can put it up at speeds. So anytime, pretty much any much in the flight regiment, you can put it up. If you want to more, know more, uh, our contact for this would be Rand Volmer. He's available at rvolmer at pipistrel-usa.com. And our website is www.pipistrel-usa.com.